but uh, <laughs> but your experience though, t- tell us about your experience on uh, the Ready to Love, kind of from how you got the opportunity mm-hmm. to when you when everything started shooting. Yeah, so um, I think it's one of those things where curiosity kills the cat. <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, I've always been interested because so, so you know, being the acting, the acting is always what I wanted to do, and then of course I model. But I had a cast agency that reached out to me after I did the For My Man episode, and they were casting for uh, the Bachelor. I think it was the Bachelorette when the Rachel was going to be on the black, the black first black woman on, on the Bachelorette, and so she was casting. She was like, "Oh, I think this guy would be good for it, whatever." And she submitted me for it. And I think that's what kind of got me in connection with some of these people who cast for these different types of shows, reality TV, TV shows. And so it kind of got my interest. Like, oh, okay, I wonder what it would be like to be on a dating show or any type of reality show uh, like this. And so Bachelorette was the first one that I applied for. Um, and then um, I think I talked to her again. She had tried to put me in for like, uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, Gangsta, well, it's the thing called Gangsta Love. We used to like pilot for Shook Knight's. Gangster? It, it, was, it, it wasn't on TV. It was uh, a pilot for it. But. Shook Knight's daughter, uh, Arian Knight. You probably okay. never heard of her. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shug, have, yeah, yeah. You heard of Arian Knight? Yeah. So uh, Shook Knight's daughter, so they wanted to create a show by her dating and create called The Gangsta Love because of her dad. Uh, <laughs> and so I helped out with the pilot for that. Uh, also was in the running for Temptation Island. So I was in running for a couple shows. Right. And then, so I had already a connection with a casting agency that was filming for these type of shows. So uh, she put out that Ready Love was coming to DC. And I was like, I saw it. And I actually never watched the show before mm. applying. Um, and I saw the ad for it. And at first I didn't apply. Then one of my other homeboys hit me up and said he was applying. And I said, you know what? I already tried to apply for three or four different shows before. It didn't work out. And then when he told me he applied, and then I heard um, the lady that I worked with before call him. I said, oh, she's casting. Okay, let me call her up. And I ended up calling her up. And then I told her I applied. And next thing you know, a week later, I get a call from LA. <laughs> So they called me up and then I had a couple interviews after that. Um, didn't really take it seriously yet until I did that final interview. And then after I did that final interview, I could see how they were looking at me. And I had that country boy, Southern gentleman, especially being in DC, that's not something they typically would get. It's especially a good faith based country boy, uh, got a good look, got a good job. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, okay. And then I thought we were looking at myself, okay, you know, I think they might put me on this. And then like probably a week after that, they uh, told me, say, hey, you're like, on a short list right now. And so they kept calling me every week. I said, they, I'm probably gonna be, I told my parents uh, right before they, I actually got the call from OWN, it was like, yeah, you're gonna probably be, I'm probably gonna be end up being on this show. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, and my dad was always like, my dad seen a little bit of the show and he didn't like it honestly, because he, he felt like if you like somebody early on and you might just like that one person, you get voted off because you have to have a collection of people that like you versus one. Cause you know, it's a collective vote. Yep. And my mom was like, she wanted me to do it. My dad was kind of like on the, on the fence uh, or whatever. But um, That's your mom, though, man. Your mama, huh? your mama does. She does. My mama does. She's yeah, like, just, your get, mom just, get on, just be on TV, baby. Yeah. Just go on. Get on out there. Your mama just always been like the brown call. You <laughs> yeah, know what I'm saying? Just get on out there, man. Get yeah. on out there. But um, once, you know, of course, you're exciting. When, it's exciting once you get on there and, and, and it's going to be on your own. It's like, okay, we're on the dating show. You've seen commercials about it. I'm actually watching the last season, which was in Houston. As I'm applying, I honestly didn't know it was that big to keep it 100. I thought it was like maybe. I, know, I thought it was always on own. You know, I heard about it a little bit. Like, I knew nephew Tommy was on there. I knew he was, um, you know, you know Steve Harvey morning show. I, I heard him every morning talking about that. And um, I was like, okay, it, it, it might be a few comments on there, a few people watching it. You know, not that many, but a few people. You know, I might get a few comments online. That's it. Yeah. And so I'm not thinking that big, big thing about it. And um, once we film it. Um, and then after we got done filming, a friend of mine hit me up. She was like, you know, they got like a whole Facebook page for this show. And I was like, they do. She was like, yeah. And I looked at the thing. It was like 30,000 people in this Facebook group. And that's all they talk about is this show. Hold on. So let me stop real quick. So, mm-hmm. this, so this is good to hear because this is your mm-hmm. mindset going in. Yeah. That you're thinking that, okay, this is not going to be such a big deal. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. But even though it's on own, company, it's on own, but. When, you know as, what own is? I like, know, I know, I, but I, but it's what I'm saying, just like how you say you ain't watched the show previously. No, nah, nah, nah. I didn't either. <laughs> you right. know what I'm saying? So until I started applying, I was catching up watching like the last season because it's a weird show to kind of catch like the last seasons of. Like you have to like catch it while it's on, and right. it's like hard to go find the episodes. It's not like on YouTube, whatever. So it was like I couldn't really find the previous episodes, and um, and so I'm watching it. And that last season, which was the Houston series, and when they had Liz on there. It was boring, like honestly, and it was a good boring. It was like it wasn't no drama. It was just like very 
you got these black conservatives that got good jobs that's dating out there and there's just dating multiple people at the same time you know whatever but it's no mess at the same time everybody's respectful the men are respectful of each other nephew tommy he makes sure it seems like he's keeping a check on all the men it's like hey be respectful of the, of the, of the ladies you know saying same thing to the ladies be respectful to the ladies be respectful of these men we're gonna be respectful he was very like a certain uh how do i say a certain standard was there to me it wasn't no, you know i mean gonna be being no love hip-hop that's what i'm you know and so i was thinking like that I was, okay i can do this this, this is gonna be I, and they may get me in a room with some ladies that i may not have met otherwise right and so that's what i'm thinking going into it um yeah that's what i'm thinking going into it so, <laughs> I want to know, you're about, uh, you, you, you audition for temptation Island. i want to know <laughs> are you still in touch with those people and if so what would one need to get <laughs> on that show? Like, oh, they, they, they well, that type of show. You trying to get messy over here, right? So I that, mean, I'm just this. This is what the people want to know, JP. So on that type of show, what the people want to know. I got to give the people what they want. Okay. So on that, that on that type of show, though, so it's different, right? So it's like Temptation Island is where you're breaking up couples that are established, either like more so they're not married, but couples that are, I never watched the show but this what, is what, what I've heard of the show I think it's on like ABC or something yeah, it's like one of the ABC or Fox or something yeah but like you're like so in you a, like a relationship I would have came on I would have came on if they would have brought me on I would have been a single coming in to break up show? yeah to break up a, a, a established couple pretty much okay okay let's mm -hmm. rewind for me rewind mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm not familiar with Temptation Island yeah. no I didn't even know he did when he said it but like, you, like, but you know about Temptation well, yeah, Island no, I, I do but I'm just saying when he said he auditioned for it I'm tripping I'm like okay so you was gonna be breaking up, like, cause I could see. That's what that's what they were so trying to. You could be that southern gentleman. I'm the gardener. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, that sounds like a porn, man. Did, no, oh, no. did y'all ever watch? Uh, you remember? You know who Lil Rel is, right? Yeah. Did you yeah, ever watch yeah. his show? Yeah. So you remember the well, premise is that? Jesse, well, Jesse. Yeah, yeah. You okay. Remember the premise of the show is that his wife, uh, his wife cheated on him with his barber. What? I, I got to that. You remember the bar? And the barber was just like, the only reason she messed with me is because. You wasn't listening to her and everything, and I was just a listening uh, okay. ear in the front. Uh, so he could have uh, been like the barber. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he could have been the listening. So ear. Temptation Island is a reality show. It's a yeah. reality show. Too. That you basically going in to break up. That's that's what the premise would have been to break up like a, a for real established couple. That's what they said it would have been. Like I mean, that's what I never. And I did not be for see real. How strong your is you see how strong your relationship is, something like that. Yeah, but to me, uh, if, in, in, in that situation, I would have gone in as an actor, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't as an actor, as a, more of like an actor. Like I would have gone on as a personality in a sense. To, I was what, thinking like more to, so. to to do whatever they tell you to do, basically. Like yeah, like, like okay, I want you to go break this here, couple take up. your shirt off. And <laughs> yeah, break go, stuff up. go put some suntan lotion on the Yeah, back. you know they would have probably producers probably probably would have did okay, some stuff. Okay. I'm glad I didn't get on there. And I didn't I'm gonna have to stop watching that. Like, I'm like, yeah. But no, it's not like it's, it's, it's not working. But right, really? it's not it's not like Yeah, but it's it's not like just like, oh, let me walk around with jogging pants and no drawers be on jumping jacks. It's not like that. It's like you're in situations where you have to interact with people. Mm -hmm. And so now this this third wheel or whatever is kind of like flirting or you know what i'm saying trying to see shooting shooting some hints out and then mm -hmm. like so now if you look a little bit too hard mm -hmm. you know because i'm straight as long as making good don't show up i'm straight uh, you know what i'm saying making good like and but that's in my contract like you talk about your contract that's right off yeah but but i'm just saying when he said he was wow. on that show mm -hmm. like what, what he auditioned for, Audition for you. i'm like whoa but then i also wanted to know too if you were still in contact with CFP, just, just actually, in case some I, of our listeners wanted well, to Well, actually, the same, as you said, I was saying that the same lady that casted me or helped me cast it for me for the Ready Love, the same person that was that helped me, at least at least uh, connected me up to the people because she has connections with LA and all that. Mm. So she connected me up. So she's the, she's the, she's the plug. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's interesting. I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to yeah. peep it out now. Like, I, you know, sound like a drama show. So I, yeah. I can't front like now. Yeah, it's you know, always. I'm gonna be in your autobiography. Like it's T. <laughs> but uh, okay, so now you you go through the process, and mm -hmm. now you're casted, mm -hmm. and so now you go and they're shooting, mm -hmm. and the first couple. How were the first couple of days? Is it kind of how you thought it was, or did it start off like, oh, this is not kind of what I expected? Or um, going into the house, um, I think. Um, I guess you realize how 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 long you film <laughs> versus how much they actually show on TV. You know what I mean? Um, but you film. We filmed all day. I remember uh, getting there on. Um, I think we filmed it on a Saturday. I got there at eleven o'clock. 
they had to sit in our cars for like hours just waiting just to even go into because they basically wanted to bring us everybody in one at a time they didn't want nobody to see each other even the guys like a matter of fact frank that's on the show he's the first guy that i saw but they was like telling us to break up and go get in our cars because they don't want any other guys to size each other up either you know what i mean so they wanted everybody to come in the house organically and meet not only the, the ladies but the guys too and see everybody walk in the door one by one um so walking in you know i'm not i'm i'm nervous first of all because i'm thinking like they about to have the cream de la creme of dc right. up in here so i don't know if i'm gonna make it past the first day you know what i'm saying i don't know what you know you have that anxiety built up right. where you don't know i know i'm i'm okay looking you know what i'm saying but i don't know who, Come on, who i don't know you who types of i don't know right. who coming right. in the door people <laughs> know that you that i know i'm confident but i'm just saying you know what i'm saying like i don't know who coming in the door they might have millions of dollars i don't know i'm just you know but um um but yeah it was it was i think i became once i got in there everybody came in the house um, I became more relaxed because I feel like, okay, these are regular people. Everybody just regular and just, and there's actually a few people I actually seen before. Yeah. Um, um, Sabrina, I actually seen her around. She actually was in, engaged to a designer I used to model for. And then Walter, we were Kappa brothers. We actually was on a ski trip like a year before that. So I've seen a few That's people. the older guy with the beard. Right? Yeah, yeah, Walter. And so, um, so I kind of seen a few people around before, but the rest of everybody else was pretty much brand new. People think me and Camille knew each other before. The, we, we connected so fast, people think we knew each other before the show. We actually, when they saw us sitting on the couch in that scene, that's the first time we met, you know what I mean? And uh, I was actually happy that she walked in because I was like, you don't really don't know going into a process like that if you're going to be even attracted to anybody. You know, you think you're going to walk in and you're like, oh man, I, I might be acting for real because I don't like nobody. But, you know, seeing somebody that you uh, organically, you know, like, oh, she, she fine. You know, let me go, let me go all in for real. You know what I mean? Captivated by her. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The beautiful chocolate came in. I was like, okay. Yeah. Now, I saw you oh, yeah. first. It was Courtney that you was uh, in there a day. Uh, uh, I think the first thing they showed me was, was Camille. The, I, was it, the first girl they had me talking to was Camille. Well, they showed on camera anyway. Okay. okay. Actually, Sabrina is the first lady that I actually talked to in real life there. Um, and then... Um, um, and then as soon as I left, I think her, I think I talked to Liva. They showed me talk to her a little bit. I talked to Liva. And then, um, and then I finally got Camille. And then me and Camille talked probably for at least an hour or two after that. So, mm -hmm. so now you're going through the whole thing. And so now you're, I saw the reunion. The reunion mm -hmm. was, you know, kind of buck a little bit. You know, <laughs> it was bucking your neck real high. Y'all had a little something. But I saw you had your, uh, you're coming to America outfit on. Uh, <laughs> that's like uh, they, 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 they dogged me out on, on Instagram for that. They said I had the uh, Gorn Contrail, the finished product of yes, Gorn Contrail from the Cosby <laughs> Show. They <laughs> 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 said, what's, the what's, what's the Denise? That's the, that's the finished product with Denise made off the, uh, off the Cosby <laughs> Show. So it was fun. Dude, I this love it. This is not a Gordon Gartrell. <laughs> Dude, that, hey, that, that, did you that, say suit, that? that suit, that suit, that suit fired me. That suit was fired, yo. It was, so, it was cold. So, 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 so I had the in the evening joint because I wanted it to be different, and then I had the you know thing on the side. And then I only caught the grill in my mouth. I saw, I saw the grill. <laughs> had the bottoms in. I saw the bottoms. <laughs> then I saw your lady was matching. With yeah, she had she had some bottoms too. She had some uh, bottoms. I didn't see the bottoms she she had some grill. Well, hers had the um, she had the fangs, gold, and then she had the bar on the top. Okay. So she had the rich cut bar on the top of it. Mine's were just straight, just cross eight, just the full, full gold. But hers had, she'd have just the bar. So hers probably more subtle. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, sit, sit. <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's so funny. Like it's so funny. My little brother, my little brother was proud, though. My little brother, my, my little brother, my little brother was proud. <laughs> he was like, he's like, hey, now why you get the whole, where you get the whole bottom? <laughs> I, got, I just got the eight. He said, you should have got the whole bottom. I was like, you know, I got to I represent. Shout out to my guy, Cleo. Yeah, salute to my guy. <laughs> my, my little brother, right there, man. That's my dude right there. Man. Keep it presidential.